Hi, I'm Yuan Zhen. Students here call me Uncle Su. Uh, I teach uh, computer organization and software engineering here at School of Computing NUS. So in 2016, uh, Colin Tan, who is actually the boss of this lab, uh, he has this bright idea that uh, maybe we should encourage the maker spirit. Right? So maker spirit basically is just that when you see something cool, right, some uh, real uh, interesting mechanism, right, then you go ahead and try to imitate and build something for yourself. Right? So he proposed to the school and in 2018, uh, we built the lab right, for the whole of SOC. So all students can come in here and build whatever they want. Come, let me show you something special about this room. Uh, so first of all, we actually custom built the entire room, including the electrical wiring. And of course, we install additional fire safety mechanism and so on. Uh, and the other thing that's special is the layout of the room. You can see that there are two partitions here. So here is actually more the typical uh, engineering side, where you actually build your stuff and so on. Uh, where the other side is the uh, traditional classroom setting where you actually can do discussion, even tutorial room and so on. Uh, we also run some courses here. So we actually have the embedded system project or the capstone project right, run in this uh, classroom where the student actually can get some hands-on experience uh, and have some fun right, working together. And at any point in time, you actually can just close off by this uh, board right, to make two separate rooms. Uh, we also have this uh, custom built ventilation system uh, so that it's actually safe for the student to work on uh, laser cutting and so on and so forth. And here we have a laser cutter which you actually can use to cut uh, wood, uh, acrylic or do some etching. Uh, so we have all these uh, 3D printers here uh, where you actually can uh, put in your design and print uh, anything of your desire. Right? So for example, this is actually a 3D ball joint. So one of the cool things we do here in the Maker's Lab is uh, we run an uh, annual NUS Makerton. Uh, the topic is usually trying to help uh, those that are a bit disadvantaged. So for example, we actually have a competition team on uh, elderly, uh, helping the uh, elderly. We have one that actually help the uh, mentally or physically disabled kids and so on. Here you actually can see some of the winners right, from the uh, various uh, iterations of the Makerton. Right, so here is actually a playbook Right, uh, designed to actually help the kid right, uh, to connect better right, uh, with others. Right, so this is actually two uh, old style radio, but actually embedded with some uh, uh, advanced Wi-Fi and so on to help the elderly to connect to each other. And here, right, you see various uh, projects right, uh, built uh, for the elderly and so on. Uh, this was actually the winner of the very first uh, NUS Makerton right, in uh, 2018. Uh, this is called the Silver Flexor. Right? Basically, it's a gamified uh, exercise machine. Right? So you can see that this is to encourage uh, the senior citizens right, to exercise while having some fun. Uh, the group members were so invested uh, in the project and they continue working on it. So you can see that this is actually the current uh, iteration of the project. Right? You can see uh, starting from humble Lego blocks into something a lot more refined. Uh, the sheer thing they can expect is that uh, they will get torture <laughs> uh, in SOC. Uh, but to be uh, frank, I, uh, they can actually export their brain right, uh, to get exploded uh, because uh, we actually train them very hard right, in uh, understanding all the fundamentals uh, so that they actually can adapt right, to new things. Uh, secondly, uh, we will actually try to explode right, uh, their, their curiosity because there are again many different kind of electric modules. They can go on to learn AI, right, uh, machine learning, they can go on to learn robotics, right, so on and so forth. And finally, we hope to explode right, uh, their creativity because there are many, many uh, hands-on projects where they can actually exercise their creativity to build something cool.